better in better range because she doesn't actually attack straight away. Is there a lantern there as well or no? What the? Oh my god. Dude, as if that doesn't hit, bro. Is that too far? Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. okay we'll sit here. This is perfect. It's not working for me. Go up and bloody melee them, man. of FP. There's the uh there's the ladder that I saw is it on the other side. Seal is broken in town, great. Cutscene? Hope we can actually like Oh okay. It's gonna press here, okay. I was gonna say, I hope we can actually just leave right away. Cause I don't like getting cutscenes and then here you are. I can't go back. Hellas Hallig Tree. Oh my god, look at this. All places I get put right fucking here on the edge. Wait, is this like. Hang on a minute. Is that just because the Erd Tree is so massive? If it looks close, I guess, it, I guess it's fucking huge, I guess.
where the giant's area is. Oh, wow, look at this. This looks amazing, man. Could have been like another, like another erd tree. It's fucking really cool. Okay. Um, right, let's teleport back. Uh, at least we have a tr fast travel point uh, there. So we've got to get this, defeat this enemy, we'll like explore along the edge here. Uh, actually, let's actually have a look at like... Uh, one, two, and three. And four as well. Can we level up? I need 112, 115. Wow, 130, okay, fuck. That's fine, we can get that right now, actually. If we, uh, go for some of these, 30, 5, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's just go one down, so I can use some of the small ones up. And 28, 29, 7, 75. Uh, 1,500. Could use that. This will be perfect, actually, if you use one of these. Alright, uh, endurance. What's our, what's our cap again? For endurance, it's uh... 30, 30 and 50, okay. Okay, we're all settled, that's done, we got a sacred tier somewhere over here. I how they got like red. They got a little bit of red now. Like, on their, on their design. Run Dolores Greaves, Dool uh, Rotten Great Axe. So I guess this is like, huh, like, because uh, Millennia has rot, so is this like rotten versions of enemies? But what? Fuck! I press five. Fuck's sake! But what's weird is that um, normally that would be 
like actually rotten, not actual people. That'd be like, you know, like grotesque. And they'd have like boluses like growing on them and shit like that. And what the hell? I'm not sure if I've had one throw more dars my way before, but if it happened before, I've definitely forgotten. Because I looked at that and I was like, what the hell, that's new. But I think I might have happened before, but I'm not sure if it was a mausoleum. Could have been something else. What the fuck? Oh my god. I thought this was a giant, bloody animal. I mean, there's a... We bait the mordars to come over here. What do we what do we bait over there? Got to be something that like summons over here. Oh, the bear! Here we go. Damn you, you son of a bitch. That's gonna spawn me this far. Got this right,
to get my frustration on these goddamn goats. I'll do. 27 and 8. Great. Completely upgrade my Moonveil now, actually, now that I've got Ancient uh, Dragon Smithing Stone or something. Whatever that is called. Making sure that there's nothing, no uh, catacomb entrance or anything. man for real one hit and didn't even step like he didn't even step up all the way he just like scooched over a little bit Unlucky, dude. I couldn't turn around because you got stunned, and I get hit by the next one. It's fucking bullshit, man. The walking mausoleum. Not to, like, since when are they this powerful? These should have been used in the war. What the? Where the hell were these? The walking freaking mortars, dude. I hate when the sword bounces off the leg and you can't like attack for half a second. Or when you, that happens and you can't actually hit it.
grenade about to dunk off. Holy shit. Oh! Fucking serious. Alright, now it's coming down. Alright. Oh my god, that's so stupid. That's just stupid. Now my runes are gonna be under there. Why would it spawn? Why would it like stuggy you on these? Oh, fuck. Okay, it's still alive. Alright, far out. <laughs> Come, I just. That's just so funny. I can't be angry at that because the rock staggered me and then like. He legit just sat on my face. most annoying mausoleum I've ever ever encountered and they're all the same like what's the point of making one harder than the other they all do the same thing Fucking waste where's my runes dude why have I got zero runes did I not pick them up did they get trapped under there oh God, they got trapped on that. Whatever, man. I only had fucking like 10,000. Some shot down, I don't know. Alright. I can duplicate any. I don't really want anything right now, but I've used four. There's seven. And I want to save two for. Well, I want to save one for Millennia's one. And that's pretty much it. Uh, give me one second to look at something.
Okay, I've used one Bellus one already. I think. Um, so we can probably get Rykard for runes. Because it's the most runes, 100,000. When we get up to like 30,000, we'll come back here. Because then we'll be, or well, when we get 30, 40,000, we come back here, get 100,000, and then level up. Now, is there going to be like an invader here, or? Why is she so huge? Holy shit. Silver mirror shield. She's sleeping. She's alive. What the fuck? Yo, this is actually sick. I can't go in a lap. Oh, I can't land a lap. But she's actually alive. That's, that's fucking cool. I know the others are alive too, but like... Like she's... I don't know. Giant. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's why. Wonder if Trina is the actual the girl, that giant of Norik there. Is there something like on top of the? There's an interaction near here, by the way. Let me find it. Do I have to kill her? I want to kill her though. I'm assuming... No, there's no item behind her. I literally skipped it? What do you mean? What, here? I mean, I skipped it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. What the fuck? I thought it was the blood stain. My bad. I was gonna say. Oh, that's great. There is a crest with her. That's fucking sick. Oh, young yet towering sister of ours. Let the birthing droplet in and create life for us. For all the Albanorics. Yo, this is actually, this is actually fucking cool. I'm not gonna Thank lie. You. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Another one. Let's fucking go. That's two. Our young yet the staff and the blade. Will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. So I'm guessing that like maybe she'll wake up and she'll be like, she'll have legs and she'll be the first Albanuric to actually like, she'll be the first Albanuric to um, like walk around. That would be mad. I'm going to restart the area. Say so summon, yeah, I'm sorry, I've just... Fucking walk around past it, my bad. Fucking blind. Oh, okay. I thought I heard a noise and I thought it was a stepping noise. Okay. Dude, they should have just showed us her like getting up. That would have been so sick. Alright, let me give me one second. Land. She'll ask, ask you to take her to land because it's Halig Tree. I completely forgot that she even said that.
Promising to take her to the Halig Tree, she will join the play and willingly become a spirit summon. Obtain Alba She will also hint at the location of the uh, next medallion. On reaching the apostate derelict, which is where we are, players can interact with the giant Albanuric womb to summon the Tenna. Doing so, the Tenna will reward the player with a Samba Ancient Dragon Stone. Tenna makes mention that Lobo, the wolf beside her, was taken from her by the all-hearing brute, likely talking about Gideon Ofnir. Ansha, who is Gideon's servant. Is this a... Oh yeah, the skeleton guy. Later invades after obtaining the medallion's half in the round table. Okay, um, that's really cool. I wonder if we actually go back to Lobo, if anything will happen. Man, I really want to see her, like, to stand up. She mentions that she's the youngest or something, right? So, was she, like, recently made? Like, obviously that's the case, but, like, by whom? I forgot who, I forgot how the Elven Erics were created. The Elven Erics are basically, like, created humans from, like, humans created other humans. So, they're kind of, like, uh... Like, they're still real in a sense, but they're like, they got defects, which is why they can't run. And the first Auburn Erics are those frog looking guys back in Leonia of the Lakes. They're the first Auburn Erics, and they have like, I think. And then the second ones are the human looking ones, but they've got defects. I don't remember which one was first actually. I think it was the, I think it was the frog looking ones. These fucking teleporting dudes, holy shit. Stop it. Bro, heal, hello, square. Fucking hell, dude, holy shit. Now, see, this is where... It'll be nice to actually 
do a large AOE move. Shit, man. All the time, dude. All they do is teleport around. Oh, really? Come on. Such annoying dudes. I don't think it's even really worth killing them for runes. That's kind of why I'm doing this, but. I'm not sure how much they're worth. It's like 500 a pop. Not worth it. How difficult they are, totally not worth it. Apparently there's like really nothing here. Like there's a stake, there's a stake in America right here. But like within any of the trees there's just like these crystal buds. Not one like item in between so far. Just unfortunate because they're really really cool structures. And it'd be really cool if there was like, you know, you, you want to explore them all so you get like some items. Oh my god, bro. Serious. Bro, everything's just really annoying me today. Holy crap. I don't use the Naked Kiwi because it takes about 10,000 strikes to actually kill them. And I use a Moonlight and it actually, like, half the time misses. I guess I can probably kite one of these out, but I'm probably going to die. I can get Rykard and level up again. Thank you. 
bad. That was bad by me. That was a bad one. I'm tracking on him, dude. Damn it! So tanky, man. They're all so tanky in this area. It takes too long to heal. Fuck. Like, it takes so long to heal, it's ridiculous now. Like, I don't know if... Like, it's because the enemies are just doing... Like, still doing so much damage, and they hit so quick. So, it's like, I hardly get a chance to, like, heal without any damage. Why didn't I just... Why didn't I revive at the stake? Come on. It's fucking right there. So, it's like, everything's, like... This area is like kind of starting to be like an end game area, but I feel like it's a bit too steep. Like you come from Altus Plateau, which is like really easy, and then you come to here, which is like so so much more difficult. Like I'd say like Limgrave, Leonia, Altus, they're all like pretty low level, even Volcano Manor. They're all pretty like low. I'd say Kaled is mid. Maybe Volcano Manor maybe is mid. But like, even the underground areas, like some of them are mid, but I'd say like this mountain region, and I feel like the, obviously, I think the Halig Tree and the um, Fire and are their end game, but they're like, they're like the hard areas. But I feel like this difference between mid and like mid level to high level is like really steep. Like, I, I'm like really over leveled. Like, I can't, I don't see, consider myself probably the level that I'm supposed to be. Like, a lot of people will come here probably, you know, half my level. Or, you know, somewhat less. Like, in the hundreds. Make run, air made, your blood is cursed. Give him back. Give Lord McKellar back. They lay hands on the, such precious flesh. Yeah, like your horse gets like fucking. Your horse gets like hit very easily, gets staggered, so you have to heal him too. And so half your time is just running in circles healing. Now it's. What the fuck? Why is my thing going? I'm invaded oh my, while I'm fighting a fucking bear. Are you serious? What am I supposed to do now, dude? Tell me I'm invaded first before I, you desummon my horse. I have to fight, a, fight an invader and a bear. <sighs> okay. Go back to night time, but I want to fucking get this invader and then maybe I'll change. I don't mind if it's difficult if it's like one enemy, but when you summon like an invader on top of like an, in an area where there's like bears, it's just cheap. Multiple enemies at once. They already like, they already like stagger you pretty hard. Like multiple enemies, you know. So, for it to happen. Again. How long? Look how long it takes until the invader thing comes up. 
Alrighty, come on, let's go. Where are you? Where are you, invader, sir? Get destroyed. Sanguine noble robe hood and waist cloth. The robe kind of looks pretty cool, actually. At least it gives you a lot of runes. That's now ten thousand runes is fucking worth it. I mean thirteen hundred, even that is like uh, I guess sort of decent, but in game area I think it should give me a bit more than that. Was he? Too late, too late. Fucking hell. That's probably gonna kill me. No, just not. It's so hard to get timing. It's so aggressive, dude. He moves so quick. The time it takes for you to heal is like ridiculously long. With like some of these quick enemies, like 
They don't give you any time. And there's like, you drink the potion, but then there's also like a time delay between when your health goes up to when you can attack or dodge. So you get like, so even like being able to tank the damage is a little rough. Because you can't like dodge after, like you get hit, you get staggered. I think getting staggered is like the most, like not straight up like knocked over. Like off your horse, staggered, but like when you get staggered to the point where you can't like tack or do anything for half a second. Um, that actually happens like so often, like almost every attack you get kind of interrupted by that. Um, especially when you're healing, I think you should have like a, like not immunity, but immunity to like interruptions while you're healing. Because then if you just get like bumped. Then you get hit again right after. It's kind of like it's kind of rubbish. Like getting getting interrupted in 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 a heal and like not taking the full heals, like using that as a strategy to tank. That is fine, kind of alright in my opinion. But getting like staggered like while you're healing and like into like a following combo. It's, uh, it's kind of rough. I don't have to stay here and fight these guys, but I want to get like the runes from them. And, like the health, the health, like is so steep as well. These enemies, like even the even those magic guys, those skeleton guys, when I very first uh, icy area, like crossing the bridge, actually so like they're actually so tanky. Horse is such a big fucking delay. Oh no. Yep, I'm dead. Because I think no by accident. And the worst thing is that I'm probably going to beat him and I'm going to get the runes and there's probably not going to be any um, like items that they're guarding or anything around there. There's going to be nothing there. No like reward. Like runes, 10,000 runes isn't like really enough of a reward for uh, like it's good runes for the bears but for the difficulty and for this area. I don't think it's enough. Like you can go around and killing those dogs, which are 1300 apiece in two hits. You can easily get 10 of them much quicker. So I don't know where the, like, whose idea it was to like, get the rune scaling. Like the rune rewards, such, so like, so drastically. 1300, like from that. One tenth of a of a bear. Come on, bro. Come on, or what? Come on, man, for real? I dashed twice and it didn't even go off. Everything on the horse is like super. Everything on the horse is like. It's got this delay on it. 
And when you dash it, like it like dashes and you can't, and you can't like tan. It's got very like wide turn radius. It's not very sharp. So you kind of it forces you to like charge in, attack, and then loop around and then charge in and attack again. But that's not really viable when you're facing like enemies that are like ready and like they their attacks always take uh, precedence over yours. So if they're like if you're mid hit. And they just lunge at you from 100 meters away. They'll just knock you over, or they'll interrupt your attack. This is why I try and get behind them with the with the, with the horse. I try and like sit behind them, but then to dodge their move, it's really hard. Even, it's not even attacking me, it's attacking away from me, and it gets me, because his ass hits me. Let's time that, because it's so slow. I'm going to get stunned off here. Yep. It goes right into attacking. Fucking destroy these fucking bears, man. Maybe if we try and fight them on foot in the first place, we can actually try and learn their moves and maybe I'll be able to actually like damage them and like do some sort of 